Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Magistry. My name is Adam. I'm the Community Manager of Franchise Hockey. With me as always and not pictured on your screen is every time producer Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Hey, everybody. And we are back with Fire the Cannon, Columbus Blue Jackets 2000-2001 season fire sale part three. Jeff, uh, since the last time we were here a couple weeks ago, I simmed ahead a little bit. Because honestly, I wasn't sure we were going to win any games this year. After... Oops, that's not right. That's not what I don't want to click transaction log. I want to click schedule. We ended you off. Get fired? You want to get over with it quick and get it over with quickly? Yes, pretty much. I um, sorry, phone's ringing. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of see. So we ended off. I I believe it was the end of November ish when we got off last, and basically things were, have not been going well. I ran through December. You can see we had a couple ties, had a couple wins, but the losses are basically overwhelming. Uh, we got into January, and yeah, we won a couple games, lost, won a couple, and I started being like, okay, we need to make some moves. We've also had a little bit of, uh, okay, we haven't hit any harmony issues. Okay, that was in a different save. Um, so I started looking, going, how can we shake things up. So I started off by putting some more guys on the trade block. I put basically all of our centers. We had Travis Green, who's was hurt and just kind of got back in two and a half star guy, ability, potential future connects head coach. Now I don't know what he's even doing. I think the last thing he was actually doing was coaching the Spangler cup team. I think that was, we put Robert Reichel on the trade yeah, block. I'm not sure if he's gone anywhere yet. Uh, yeah, we put quick, uh, Google search on him. Ramo Hellman in yet uh, on the trade block. Sandy McCarthy, Adam Mayer, who's done absolutely nothing. He's got eight points in 45 games. Um, from a sim ahead, Jeff, something that came up fairly concerning was Rhett Warner, our 24-year-old defenseman, um, started declining. So he got put on the trade block too. So we'll see if we can move him. But basically, we are currently one player over the limit um, after... Uh, Green came back from injury, so I decided to shop him to see if we could get any decent offers. And you got a decent offer. And we got a decent offer, yeah. So if you follow us on our social media, especially on Twitter, where I'm more active, well, it currently still exists, so who knows what how that's going to turn out. But uh, you would have seen me post yesterday that we got this offer from Detroit. We got an offer of 22-year-old Pavel Datsuk for 30-year-old center Travis Green. Now, Pavel Datsuk is not the Pavel Datsuk you're thinking about right now. If you're a hockey fan, he's yeah. very young. He's one and a half stars. He's got four-star potential, but he's not there yet by he's, any means. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a former six-round pick. He's a year away from his real-life debut in Detroit and probably about four or five years from turning yeah. into the Pavel Datsuk like everybody knows. And we're offering Green, who's an established player, and I guess for yeah. some reason the wings have uh, gone for this. And I think I actually had Datsuk rated a little bit too low. So I've tinkered yeah. with his ratings in the database a little bit. So since I showed Jeff this, <laughs> like that, yeah. So I mean, we looked at it. Okay, like so. Just just so we're clear. I mean, yeah, you can see his stats here pull, pulled up on the on the screen. He's played in eleven games. He's had two points. He's a minus two. He played eleven games in the minors and had six points, one goal, five. So it's not like we're getting a thirty goal score, ninety five point guy. Travis Green is, you know, if we look at our depth chart here. He's our number two center. We do have Nikolai Antropov who can play center. We have Reichel still around. Uh, and Datsuk can play center too. But I think this is the move we have to make. You have other offers for Green, though. Yeah, that I declined. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, Wendell Clark, he's only 34. He's got lots yeah, yeah. of gas in the tank. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is... Was he even North playing at this was point? Or was he done? Yeah. At this point? No, yeah. this was his last, last year was the previous one. Uh, so who trying the ball? Thanks for coming out. Yeah, you can see basically we're looking. Yeah, uh, we're going to complete this Pavel Datsuk trade and grab Pavel Datsuk. So we are currently in the process of moving younger. If we look at our job security here, our fans are very unhappy. They we, we even lost minus three again for trading away Travis Green. So yeah, some Russian nobody knows anything about. Yes. Um. Basically, we don't really have room for him on our roster right now. We're sitting at 24 guys. We could try and move somebody. 
I actually had to call up uh, Stefan Robidas because we got ran into so many defensive injuries. And uh, Robida actually put up three points in six games and was actually pretty good for us. Yeah, he's only one star, though. Yeah, we're just going to shop uh, Rhett Warner here. The problem is the other one-star defense is actually doing pretty well, too. Vesnowski, he's got 12 goals this season. Yeah. Mike Stewart in return. No, thanks. Nick Boyton. That's not actually yeah, a terrible maybe. trade. But I don't think we're going to make that right now. And we'll probably get Brad Winchester from Detroit. 21-year-old Wes Jarvis. 19-year-old Brian McGratton. Uh, Michael Ouellette, Bruno St. Chuck, Cameron. I don't want to click through these too fast in case someone pops up that I'm not expecting. Um, elderly Murray Barron. Very elderly. 18 year old Travis Moan from Edmonton. That wouldn't be a terrible trade, but I'd like to find somebody who's a little bit better. Jeff Jilson, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I remember seeing Eric Messi remind me there's another trade we uh, that happened in the uh, when we were you were running through the first game, first year of this season uh, to get this game set up. Oh yeah, uh, that uh, that uh, we didn't see. Well, well, have a look at the uh, Canucks roster and see if anything's missing. Uh, Vancouver, Vancouver, Vancouver. Are you talking about Messier not being here? Yeah. Did we comment on that before? I don't remember. I, I don't. Well, did he get traded? Is that what happened? Are you saying? Or? Yep. Check Newendike's uh, history. Oh, and, I didn't even uh, realize New Joe Dyke. Newendike was there. You're on a new build, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Second. Yeah, you can see we've made a few changes to that screen. I don't know if it's going to sh start showing up. Uh, Okay, Mark Messier. This game because we started it beforehand. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Cool. I mean, it's not a great deal. New and I can they give away Allen too. Yeah. Or oh, okay. So uh, uh, yeah, for, I forgot to do this. We're gonna send Datsuk down to Syracuse right now. Okay. But the thing is, we've made the change we're making in the upcoming update. Uh, you'll be able to see when you've traded for a draft pick and the pick has been used. You can see you can see which player has been traded for or which player was used for the pick. All right. Uh, Ted Nolan has become Tampa Bay's coach. Uh, anybody else who should try shopping? Let's try shopping Adam Mayer right now. We're just constantly going to be shopping, guys. So Tampa Bay changed their coach. They only have four fewer points than you do. 24-year-old Wade Belak. Uh, Grant Stevenson, 24-year-old Nolan Baumgartner, just recently enshrined in the AHL Hall of Fame. 20-year-old John Michael Lillies. Kind of want to forward back. Yeah, I think you'll be, I'd maybe wait to closer to the deadline, you might get better offers. All right. Luckily, Theodore has warmed all the way up, so we have a little bit of hot goaltending, but that doesn't matter. We lose 3-1 to Minnesota. Are you going to screw up your draft pick? And Rafalski got injured for draft this year. five games, but he can play through it. Okay, he's going to put Kipper in net for this game. Upcoming draft is the 3-3 uh, uh, tie. Kovalchuk. Ilya Kovalchuk and uh, Jason Spezza won. Yeah, okay, Zdeno Chara returns. Oh, Adam Mayer is now hurt. Bruce Thigh day-to-day. So I guess Ty Domi's coming in for Adam Mayer. And all right, we can play through this game and then worry about rejiggling the lines. 
Bob Essenza. Yeah, just on the fourth line. And we get a 2 1 win. We got a bench miner to start the game. Very nice. Scott Pellin scores shorthand, and, and Lubinir Viznoski gets his 13th on the year. All right, so Chara's back to the active roster. Which means I guess we're sending uh, Robodad down. You got it set to play, to play your games in the 2D engine, right? Yeah. When you're swimming? Yeah. Okay, just want to make sure we made a little change there the other day. To, the penalty uh, calls were a little off. There were too many unsportsman likes, but it looks like that's fixed now. Um, hmm. Znowski's got 13 goals. Zidlicki's got six. So I guess Zidlicki's coming out for Chara. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how Znowski's producing that much, but I'm going to go with it. And we're just going to shop Aaron Ward here since we have a chance. Scott Lachance is the first guy offered. Ooh. Other than maybe Kippersoff, I don't think we've got any untouchable guys, eh? Well, so our younger guys we don't really want to get rid of. If you've, if it's your first time tuning in, we actually have the highest ranked amount of prospects, which might keep us. I'm getting fired, but that's about it. So we're looking to get younger, get I'd better. Maybe Just get. Chara. What's that? You wouldn't want to trade Chara. No, well, I don't really want to trade Antropoff either or Just Williams. No. Antropoff, it's, if it's the right deal, maybe. Gets Buffalo. And playing Hassock, and we only lose one nothing. That's not... Oh, 15 shots on goal. Buffalo put up 41. Yeah, that's not going to do it against that team. Not good. Okay, trade proposal from Boston. Boston offers us Darren Van Imp for Adam Mayer. I don't think so. No. Adam Mayer says he is almost ready to play, so that means we can take Domi back out of the lineup. And Scott Pellerin is getting talked about. He has done very little. Only got five goals for us. Let's just shop yeah, him. I'm kind of expecting him to be the first line left wing and is he playing really third line anything. right now, I think? He had Podine in as a left wing, as a first liner start of this. Ladislav Nagy. Yeah. For Scott. That's, I think, yeah. All right, we're going to keep going here. Ladislav Nagy, of course, most famously known for being part of the Team Mussolini trade. Okay, that's almost tempting. A six-round pick and Jeff Finger. Uh, I think Nagy's still better. Well, we don't have to make this trade either. I think Nagy will come up multiple times. Philip could be... 20-year-old Patrick Stefan. And 34-year-old Don that Sweeney. They've really given up on Stefan, haven't they? Yeah. Do we want to make this... I, I don't know if we want to make this... Nagy trade just because. Ten years younger, and the potential seems a little low. Yeah, let me just. Nagy wasn't in the league that long, was he? Yeah. Nobody was productive while he was in. Guess he was. Guess we could grab him and then try and chop him. Oh, actually, uh, maybe not. I just looked at how I've gotten set in the editor, and it's too low. I need to. All right, we'll reject him for now. If he comes up again, we'll right, consider yeah. it. But yeah, basically we're ready to fire off. Nicholas Havlid is there. Can we get... 
It's an upgrade over the guys you got, but he's 27 and they're and Robodon Snowski are a few years younger. No, it's just more if we can move him, somebody. I'm just going to keep shopping. We're at Warner, see if something different comes up. 20 year old Sean Avery. Yeah. Well, that would show off the uh, Team Harmony system. <laughs> uh, Come on, do it. No, I already denied it. Aw. All right, continuing on. Anybody left? I really just want to f fly through these, but again, don't want to miss something I wish. I hadn't. Game versus Detroit. Yeah, Pellerin's playing third, third line right now. You could flip into the first line for a while if you want to see if his stats will pump up his trade value a bit. Oh, we beat Detroit. 2-1. Podine and Visnovsky score. Now you can force me to put Podine down to the third line. Scores scores a goal. And, no, no, you're moving down. Development report here. Warner goes up. Visnovsky is up to one and a half stars now. Nice. Yeah, that's good, Warner's. Zidlicki's sure up to one and down. a half. I went down. Oh, yeah. Datsuit oh, no, goes up a bit. Half. Sean Horkoff, we don't really want to get rid of either. Mike Commissarek, Stefan Cronwall, Mittens. Ulf Dahlin is going down, Taidomi. Yeah, see, so Scott Peller and just start declining. That's not good. Yeah, Monthly budget. Rid of We're going to pump up. Deadline, What's that, sorry? Get rid of Peller and by the deadline, I think. Oh, definitely. We are about a month away. I just got to ban somebody here from chat Nine. now. March 9th. And okay, there we go. Got to come and spam the chat. You're going to get banned. All right. 3-3 three, three tie with St. Louis. Oh, we were up 2 nothing. They go up 3-2, and Helmanen scores with just under four minutes left to tie it back up. Interesting, interesting. All right. What's your uh, overall placement right now? Well, let's get our owner confidence here. John McConnell is satisfied with the team performance this season. We're a rebuilding process. Think carefully before adding veterans to the roster at the expense of giving our young guys playing time and or acquiring new prospects. Taking a longer view, we're not expected to be a serious contender next season, but aren't planning on a total rebuild either. The fans aren't thrilled. Among them is split on your performance. We can agree that the approach you've taken with this team is the correct one. Well, that's nice. Uh, did we send anybody to the All-Star game? Nope. Unlikely. We did not. Oh, sorry, new players. Coaches are... Cronwell's taking a long time. Oh, some of the other guys are taking... Okay, so we are second last in our division there. 15, 25, and 12 for 42 points. We are in one, two, third last place in the West and fifth, sixth last place overall. Could just click on the lead tab. <laughs> That's more fun to count, Jeff. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, look at that. See, nailed it. 25th, sixth last place. Which in the draft that year would have gotten us Miku Koifu, but he's probably going to go higher in the... I mean, the you look at that, we're actually only 20 goal differential, but boy, we suck away. We're actually 11, 9, and 8 at home, but 4, 16, and 4 away. 
So at least our fans at home should be relatively happy. You know. All things considered. Like, yeah, with that pick, you're probably looking at somebody like uh, Mike Camilleri, Patrick Sharp. And we win one nothing versus... Yeah, the Rams. Versus St. Louis. Um... Yeah, Antropov scores, fifth goal of the year. Eric Borgenecki. Not familiar with that name. Played 178 games, had 76 points in real life. And one good year with the Blues. Yeah. Hmm. Guess we don't really need him then. Uh, just checking to see if anybody else is interesting on the trade block, and Kimo Timonen is on the trade block. Expensive, though. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't think it's all us. Nashville is actually worse than you this year. Well, that's good. That's how it should be. And playing them, we lose 2 nothing just because you said that. Mike Dunham shut us, shuts us out. 27 saves. All right. We're less than a month away from the trade deadline. Danton Hynote just got injured one to two weeks. So Domi's coming back in. Just take a quick look, see how Datsuk is doing in the minors. He's had eight, 12 points in 11 games with Syracuse. Third? Yeah. All right. I like that. And 1-1 one, one tie with the back-to-back -to, -back to Nashville. Char gets the goal. There's another name I do not recognize. Joe Holbig? Yeah. Six foot guy four. was a prospect and never really worked out. Huh. Big guy. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at the wrong draft. I was looking at 2001. It's 2002 that's coming up, isn't it? No, 2001 draft. No, you're right. We're in February of 2002. Or 2001. All right, I'm just going to try shopping Robert Reichel. Joe Mara. Valerie oh, sorry, Kaminsky. Sharp in the 2001 draft, but they were in real life uh, drafted after they were 18. Yogi Svikovsky. Not a lot there. We'll try shopping mare here again. You're probably a little too far out from the trading deadline to make get much of a difference in the offers. I just met twenty year old Curtis McLean. That would have been an interesting two and a half star guy. Oh, wait, David Steckel? Again, name I haven't heard for a number of years. 26-year-old defenseman Sammy Sallow. Huh. That seems like it might be a good move. Except for we don't overly... Then we got we to gotta get a forward back. 20-year-old defense, defense, defenseman John Michael Lillies. Sell. Oh, Pewok's here. Uh, go wings, and you didn't. Oh, you you didn't see what you just did to the wings. Well, we have two wings fans in the chat tonight with who trying the ball. That's okay. Uh, 
Should we take Sammy Sal? What's his contract like? Sign for two more years. I don't know. What do you think, Jeff? Say so do it and then maybe just try and flip uh, Warner for uh, forward. All right. So if I'm going to do this, I've got to do this right. We're going to go down to our depth chart. We're going to bring up Pavel Datsuk Piwog. So Pavel Datsuk comes up. We're going to put Mayer replace with Datsuk. And we're going to bring in Sammy Sallow. Now, just because, what if I decide to flip Sammy Sallow? Oh, I can't flip him today. Um, would it be wrong to put, uh, yeah, it probably would be. Should I try putting Datsuk on the first line? Might as well. Pellerin spot? Yeah. And put Pellerin, Podine, and Jury on our third line. Yeah, balances the lines a little better. All right, so we're still one person over, so we'd have to send Sedlicki back down. Unless I can going to try and shop. Oh, wait, for example. Yeah, I'm just going to shop Warner again in case something good comes up. Oh, oh, ho, oh, here we go. 22-year-old Andre Markov from Montreal for Rhett Warner. And he's still young, so you can put him in the minors, and uh, that fixes your roster thing. I don't think you can have to look at the other ones. Uh, well, let's just take a quick look in case somebody else is really good. But Montreal offers up Markov. Uh, Sean Avery again. We could take Sean Avery. Yeah, if you want to. Boy, I think we got to take that Markov deal, though, huh? Tyler Rennett, yeah. Still doesn't help us get another forward back, but... Ryan Boney? He never worked out? Obviously. <laughs> It's kind of easy to tell when you're playing historical who worked out and who didn't. Yeah, I mean, it's... Do I recognize this name? Yes or no? Actually, the funny part is sometimes I recognize names and I think guys played in the league a lot longer than they did. Yeah, I mean, I, all the Canuck failed draft picks over the year, I can, years I can recognize. All right, Andre Markov. Wow, yeah, absolutely. Complete that trade. So in the next two or three years, you're going to have a D of uh, Chara, Salo, Markov, Rafalski, uh, Zidlicki, Viznovsky, Yuri Fisher. So I think you're set there. Okay, I'm going to send Markov down. So we're back at 23. Ooh boy, that uh, that's that's nice. Gotta find guys to do the scoring now. Yeah, okay. Now I gotta go put uh Salo in at D. He'll play a second pairing. Actually I'm gonna let let the lines redo here. We're gonna lock our forward lines though. Because I just yeah, don't really need to do the third one. Uh, I've got the other three locked. Well, it actually put Z Sammy Salo down on the fourth one. I'm still going to move him up. Should I move Antropov to the f first line? He's two and a half stars. I had Justin Williams. He's only one and a half. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Gonna drop the ice times a yeah, little bit. Yeah, you got already got better to only have the one guy, one young guy per line. Williams hasn't really been producing either. Well, I mean I got Datsuk and Antropov, that's twenty two and twenty years old. 
Oh, I knew that was going to come. Datsuk wants 13. Ted Drury has it. Don't want to get him upset. So we're going to give Datsuk number 91. It's a good Russian Detroit number. And we lose our first game 2 1. All right. And Datsuk gets injured. <laughs> really? How long you? Sore, sore groin one to two weeks. Uh, okay. okay, we're going to move high note to the injured list to buy a bit of time for right now. Call up somebody who can actually score to play on that first line. Yeah, so we're calling up basically Andy McDonald. He's got 40 points in the minors. You got Kvasha, you got Pascal Dupuis. Pascal Dupuis is only half star. Oh. Horkov's got 38. Oh, Pascal Dupuis up to one star. Yeah. All right, we're calling up Andy McDonald. That's it comes out. Replace with McDonald. McDonald, we're going to give him a jersey number of... Uh, let's give him 88. Uh, 2-1 victory. Nice. Adam Oates is in Toronto. Jeff, that's disgusting. What happened there? Yeah. There. He got traded in February of last year for uh, Berezin and Farkas. Yeah, mainly Sergey Berezin. That's a terrible trade. Uh, I mean, he's 38 years old at this point. Yeah, uh, Piwag I missed in the chat says Avery was a former wing. Uh, yeah, he was with them when they won the Stanley Cup, but he was mostly in the minors. But he still got like a cup replica. And we just put Sylvia and Cote out for probably the rest of his career. To out 10 months ten with months a grade three they, concussion. Uh, Ooh. High notes getting close. Ray Ferraro's with the wings now. Okay, he got moved there. He's considering retirement. What Ferraro do if he's going to retire? Oh, he can go into broadcasting or something. He'd probably go into coaching. <laughs> Maybe not quite coaching. Maybe you can just stand between the benches. Oh, okay. That might work. Uh, four three victory over Detroit. All right, all right. Yuri Fisher finally gets his first goal of the year for us. And Scott Pellerin just got injured. Are you serious? Ooh, that's not good right before the deadline. Hopefully that's one to two weeks. Okay, not bad, not bad. And I think I saw that. Okay, high notes day to day. Pineout can play. Oh, we got a trade proposal. Throw Sandy McCarthy in for one game if you have to. We just got offered Vili Niemann for Sandy McCarthy. That's probably suits you better right now. For this one game? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, McCarthy's pretty much done. Niemann's got a little bit of a career in front of him. Yeah, we could. Gives a get us rid of McCarthy, bring Neiman in. And I mean, it's basically a half star guy for a half star guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna last one's gonna last you a little longer. All right, we made that trade then. So Neiman in will come right in for Scott Pellerin then. And we're gonna give him jersey number 87. Got to leave because his tactic is set to screener. I feel like we could probably get a better tactic for Neiman in than that. Thought he was higher on something. Punishing forward, he's 11. Grinder is 13. Agitator is 12. Power forward, 12. Uh, 
Let's go power forward. And I'll work on that third line right now. And it is a 3-1 win over Pittsburgh. All right. Char gets a goal. Viznovsky gets another goal. Antropov gets a goal. Our power play is working at least. Ooh, Niemin shows up with us and he's only one star. Actually. So I'm going to place him on the trade block anyways. And trade proposal from Boston. Steve Martins for Scott Pellerin. No, thank you. And just off the off chance, we're going to shop. Oh, I can't shop him yet. How long do I have to wait to shop a guy I just traded for? I, know I can't remember what we said it to, but it's fairly lengthy. Just specifically so you can't keep doing that. Well, if I trade and trade a guy, I mean, there's been some guys who've been on teams for like 15. Did I hear church bells? Was that from the gamer background? Well, I didn't hear any church bells, but. You having a stroke, Bwog? No. You smell did, burnt toast? Did, did, Jeff, did you hear church bells? Because I didn't. Um. All right, injured list. High note has to come back to the... Oh, no, he's got to stay on the injured list two days longer. Perfect. <laughs> Not that old, p says. Oh, boy, we lose 6-2 to the Sharks, though. Rough. Viznovsky gets another goal. Dadsuk is back soon. Okay, so we are, what? Trade deadline is March 9th, okay? Antropov's actually getting tired. 4-1 uh, victory over Phoenix. Muller gets a goal. Vicky, Viznovsky, Rafalski. Okay, High Note can come back to the active roster. So he does. Far away is Dan, no. Day to day. I don't really have room for him either. That's the thing. Um, yeah, you lots of guys who you can send out with no uh, waivers. I know, but our team's playing pretty well. Heck, we're only eight games under 500 now. Really screwing up that draft pick. All right. So we continue to look here. Make some moves. Colorado, Colorado and Detroit make a swap. Chris Kunitz for Fred, Freddie Meyer and Greg Maldin. Oh, good one. Deal for the wings. Yeah. All right, another game here. And another 1-1 one, one tie. Ted Drury scores another one. All right, so now that... Okay, yeah, we're not quite there yet. How's Minnesota doing, by the way, the other expansion team? I'll look at a second. Avalanche, Chad, Sandus Oljul... Sandus Oljul... Oh, I can't say a name. Sandus Oljul for Sergey Samsonov. Wow. Interesting move. Was Zetterberg around at this time? Uh, Zetterberg? Not yet. Uh, he was... Uh... I don't. Yeah, I don't think he was there yet. Let's just check depth chart. Oh, yeah, he is. He's 20 years old. Wasn't in the actual end. He was... Yeah. Real NHL. He didn't make it till 2002. Or two yes. more seasons away. Uh, Minnesota is actually... Tied with us, 54 points, but they have one game in hand. Led by Brett Hall. Yeah, that trade was funny. Yeah, well, he goes back to Minnesota to finish his career. That's where he played college. 
Dun, dun, dun. 3 2 loss to Anaheim. They went up 2 0. We tied it and lost in overtime. John Michael Lilies. And Alf Dahlin just got injured. Oh, Alf. Strained me medial collateral ligament. Two One, months. two months. So you're not going to get him traded, but I don't think you were really planning on doing that this year. Well, let's say yes, and let's see if we can trade him. We're not going to just shop him right now. We'll say delay treatment and shop. 20-year-old Peter Svoboda. But not that Peter Svoboda. No. The other one. A seventh-round draft choice from Boston. Detroit offers us a seventh. Okay, 23-year-old Pavel Rosa. Only half star, though. Okay, here's what I think Old we're going to do. Minor prospects and, uh... We're going to set him, Elf Dahlien, on the trade block. And we're going to take him out of the lineup. And we'll put Datsuk back in, hoping he's healthy for the next game. All right, trade proposal from Minnesota. Minnesota offers us Kurt Sauer for Ramo Hammond. No. Matthew Danano is almost recovered. Uh, before the deadline. Florida offers us Andy Hilbert for Scott Pellerin. No, reject trade. All right. So we're going to take Dahlien, trade block. Nice to see you're getting so many trade offers. I think we've got that working right now. All right, we're going to take everyone off the trade block and put them back on. tomorrow why are you doing that just so I can have so they're nice and free and not thinking about getting traded even though we will absolutely trade them tomorrow by tomorrow yeah it's a flip of the month And 2-2 two -two tie versus Columbus. All right. Development report. Chara's going up. Two and a half stars now. Chara. Datsuk's going up. Kipper's going up. McDonald's going up. Viznovsky's going up. Theodore. Justin Williams. Joe, Justin Williams got to two stars. Nice. Nice. Zidlicky's up. Pascal Dupuis up. Lots of, oh, Matthew Dandino's already coming down. Oh, boy. If he's coming down, we better move him, too, if we can. No, I think that may just be a weird hit. Uh, we're going to put him on the trade block. Anyways, might even chop him. Okay, so looking here. Datsuk is healthy. Okay, we're going to put... All right, back to this. Aaron Ward is going on the trade block. Alf Dahlin, place it on the trade block. Scott Pellerin, on the trade block. Sean Podine, on the trade block. Ted Drury, on the trade block. Robert Reichel, on the trade block. Ramo Helmanen, on the trade block. All right, I'm going to send Zidlicky down. And I'm going to move Dandano to the active roster because he's close. I'm going to place him on the trade block. And I'm going to shop him right now since I'm already disappointed by him. Trent McCleary, no. Nathan Dempsey, no. 22-year-old Nick Boyton. 
who we talked about before, but no. Ty Jones. You about Stem, Valerie Kaminsky, Don McLean, Steve Probst, Luke Richardson, Chris Taylor, Bonnie, Ronald Petrovicki, Mark Lawrence, DuPont, 24 year old Fernando Persani. Edmonton Oilers playoff I legend. Just think it was just a one-off thing uh, for Dan Dano's declining. I think he'll be. Oh, 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 oh he's getting traded. Oh, boy, is oh. he getting traded. Uh, Cole's hurt, but. We don't need him with all our new defensive prospects. We do need a forward. I don't know how sure. we don't make that deal. You could get Gary Volk instead. He's only 33. Yeah, I think we absolutely make that deal. We grab Eric Cole, 22 years old. Yep. And goodbye, Matthew Dandino. Who we brought in the expansion draft. And now we get Eric Cole. Oh, that's 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 a nice... That's a nice trade up for us, especially if we have Sammy Sallow now. I'm going to send Cole, Cole down to the minors. You could put him on the injured list too. He's out for a few weeks. I don't want to have him. He'd be fine in the minors. Um, yeah, we're going to keep our morale nice and high. You put him on the injured list, actually. That wasn't minors. Did I? Oh, well, all right then. Whatever. I thought I sent him down. Nope. All right. 4-3 loss to Nashville. Darn. All right. We are five days away from the trade block. We put everybody on there. Uh, all right. Whatever. Injured since November. Boy, he's been injured a long time. He's just coming back. 27-year-old two-star goalie Martin, or Milan Helinka? Helinka. Linchka. Okay. Interesting. Oh, uh, trade proposal from Florida. 33 year old center Sean Van Allen for Podine. I don't think so. 33 year old Sean Podine. So, no. Florida and Colorado did make a trade, though. Trevor Kidd for Chris Dingman. It's actually a pretty even swap. Yeah, Colorado gets a backup for a while. Uh, let's uh, trying to move them. Milan and Lechka, so that's... Uh... Paul Coffey is on the block. 20 years old. Steve Martins for Ted Drury. Paul Coffey's still in the league at this point? Yeah, 39 years old. I think he played... This would have been his last season-ish. Yeah, this would have. 2000, 2001. He played 18 games with Boston. He's actually doing much better in this game. He's yeah, still rated he's really highly. Down. He might need a little bit yeah. of a tune down there, Jeff. All right, trade proposal from Atlanta. Atlanta offers us Jason Botterill for Robert Reichel. No. No. We will move players for the right deal, and we'll shop a bunch. Okay, Atlanta's come back. They have offered us Jody Hull for Robert Reichel. That's at it's least closer, better. but it's not better. Not much. Wait, wait, Chris Dingman moves again. Adam Foot for Chris Dingman. Oh man! Oh, and Jeff Ware. Colorado screwed up. Colorado, what are you doing? Ware was a decent prospect at that point, and uh, but Foot was twenty nine then. Yeah, he was that old. Oh yeah, I guess that's right. Foot's been around. For, Foot was around for a long time. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, look here. We're looking, Paul Coffey's only two and a half stars, but he's showing four star or three and a half potential. So I'd. Well, it's, we're listed as B that scouting. Range. That's weird. For yeah, 39 that's years old. Uh, I believe the two and a half star one. Oh, no. Dad's who got. Oh, no. He's still per, Oh, he's hurt again with back spasms. What are you doing, Datsuk? Yeah, just shopping. Andrew Alberts in a six-round pick for Robert Reichel. Well, that's not terrible, but not what we want. Oh, here we go. 35-year-old right wing Bob Probert for Robert Reichel. Put Probert and Domi on a line together. Jan Havlik, Thomas. Zizitka? I'm not sure. Never made the NHL. Karnquist. That's a name I've been here for a while. Probably for good reason. Yaroslav Sloboda. No. San Jose just really wants to give us Ron Sutter. <laughs> Please. Ron really wants to get rid of Vladimir Wojtek. All right, we're going to shop Scott Peller in here. Oops. Wrong button. Vladimir Malikov. Nathan Dempsey. Joe Murphy. Dave Manson. Now there would be a line. Dave Manson, Bob Probert, and Ty Domi. True how Manson would do as a forward, but... <laughs> it would move him to the wing. He'd be fine. Oh, okay, well... I went over Michael Rosenval, who wouldn't have been a bad change for Scott Pellerin. Really need more defensemen. Would have been a good Still pickup, though. Got Ladislav Nagy. Mm -hmm. No. Rene Colbert? Eh, probably not. Pat Buffoon. I mean, Pat Falloon. Come on, he can... Can make a comeback. Uh, so we don't want to make that Ladislav Nagy trade, even though we could probably trade him for something better. I think we should make that trade. Okay, good. I'm going to play this game versus Carolina first. Just warning that Nagy is rated a little more lowly than he should be. I need to fix that. P. Will you send me a message for her in the middle of the stream? Matthew Danano, of course, scores immediately on us in the first his first game against us. But we pull off the tie. Oh, I guess I've missed some things here. Uh, Jim Campbell, no. Darren Turcott, no. Jody Hull, no. Derek King, no. Florida's offers Cuba again. Actually, that's maybe that's the trade to make. Cuba's pretty old, though, isn't he? Oh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four here. Well, I'm thinking we could trade him and and make up make a move for someone looking for a defenseman. Nagy's 21, but two star, two and a half. Cuba is. You're not going to be able to shop him right away. What's that, sorry? You're not going to be able to shop. Uh, Doesn't matter. We'll right be able away. to do manual trade. Let's complete that trade. Let's do that trade. Get rid of Scott okay. Pellerin and grab Cuba. Lost Scott Pellerin. Minus three. Uh, all right. So we made that. Uh, I think we can shop one more guy. Try shopping Hellman in here. See if anyone of interest comes up. Seventh round pick. No. A Russian. I'm not even sure how to say that name correctly. Sepulkov. Okay. Igor Kravchuk. Former Jet, isn't he? Igor Kravchuk? Yep. Briefly, I think. 
That was during the Mike Smith era, I believe. Mike Smith guys, yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to... All right. Kubo wants 17, but it's already being used. He can have 18. All right, we are one day away from the trade deadline. We are moving to the trade deadline. All right, got some proposals here. Florida offers us Nick Smith for Aaron Ward. No, that's terrible. Patrick Stefan for Ramo Helminen. <laughs> it's sad how quickly they've given up on Stefan. Should we do, do it? it? Bring in Stefan. I mean, he's not going to turn into anything, but uh, maybe you can make him a little better than he actually was. Martin Skula for Robert Reichel. Don't really need a defenseman. Dwayne Hay for Ted Drury. No. No. And Joe Cullen for Podine. No. no All right. Offers. Atlanta offers us Stefan for Raman Helmanen. Okay, let's complete that trade. We're going to try and save you, Patrick Stefan. But not before we try and make a move here. We're going to try and move Cuba. So who's looking for a defenseman? Atlanta's looking for everything. Buffalo's looking for a right defenseman. This could be interesting. He's could, a left defenseman, though? He plays both sides. So what would they be giving one of the first round pick? Okay, how about a second round pick? It's very likely they would accept that offer. Okay, I tried. Just looking to see if we can add anything else. I don't have much to add. Oops, don't force trade. Buffalo Sabres have 50 guys under contract. All right. Who's the crappy guy that they have who they don't want? All right. We have Angry Dixon Ward. Or why not? Okay, we get we give up Philip Kuba, we get a second, third, and fourth round pick and Dixon Ward for Philip Kuba. Yes? Well Dixon Ward's quite the key there. Yeah. Make it work. Or finalize it, I mean. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's a big trade for us. Now can we flip Stefan? And Ulf Dahlin. So let's find somebody looking for forwards. Good job continuing to click random buttons there, Adam. Calgary is looking for left and right wing. You can get like a sixth rounder for Dolan. Let's just see here. I'd prefer to trade him. Okay, Montreal is looking for left and right wings. Nashville's looking for everything. Islanders are looking for all. Oh, let's see if we can take advantage of our favorite GM. Uh, Alf Dahlin. Oh, Alf Dahlin is using his no trade clause. All right, then. Well, we'll look there in a minute. Um... Trying to find our buddy, Stefan. Rogers. All right, let's see what else they got. They want to move somebody. They're not going to do that pick? Uh, we'll just see. Okay, but what if we throw in that extra second rounder we got from Buffalo? It's not going to be enough. But the extra third rounder from Buffalo. 
it's still not going to be enough. You're not hitting the triggers to get a high draft pick like that. That pick Jeff, is going to be very difficult Jeff, to get Jeff, without Jeff. giving up a good player. Adam, it's my logic. That's <laughs> terrible logic, Jeff. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Get a third round back for Patrick, Patrick Stefan. Can't get a second? No. Nope. Says they're not willing to move one. I'm trying to remember who was on Alf Dahlin's trade list. I think the Caps were. Were they? I know Vancouver was. All right, so let's try this again. Uh, come on, Alf, where are you? Here you are. Nope, Caps are not. Pittsburgh, Edmonton, Vancouver. Vancouver, you're right. Vancouver was on there, but I don't think they're looking for wingers. Flyers, Jeff, Sharks, why are these Oilers. not in alphabetical order? That's an excellent question. I think that's the... Oh, it's not franchise order. I'm not sure how it's doing that. I think that's the order he prioritized them in. Uh, Pittsburgh is looking for defense. LA. Defense. Canucks. Boston's looking for no real weaknesses. Goalie and center. Well, let's see if we can get Alf Dahlin and Patrick Stefan. Hey, Vancouver, let's have your first. No. Okay, what about your second? If I offer them at a third and then they're like, yeah, we'll do that. How about a fourth? No. A fourth and a sixth. And a seventh. No. Oh, wait. They'd have, we need to take somebody back from them. They got to have somebody on the trade block. There we go. Kavanaugh. They will not give us that second rounder. Okay, so if we give up our extra second round or extra right, third rounder, rounder in 2002. If you don't want to wait that long, the third round. Okay, there we go. We give up Alf Dahlin and Patrick Stefan for Vancouver's second round pick. Alf Dahlin, Patrick Stefan, and Buffalo's third rounder. That's a lot. But, yeah. I mean, it moves us back I up in the draft. About 500, so it'll be middle of the uh, second round. Or Buffalo is. No, Buffalo's around the same, so middle of the third round. You're moving up roughly. It'll be. Moving up around, yeah. Okay, we are done. Uh, Christy and uh, Kavanaugh can go down. Apparently, lost minus three for Scott Pellerin, plus two for acquiring Dixon Ward, a popular player. Minus three for losing Alf Dahlin. Is there, uh, do we want to try and move Aaron Ward too, actually? Just as we're doing this. Eki Pecky Berg. Rob Ray. We could bring Rob oh, Ray in. 21-year-old Brad Ference for Aaron Ward. Me? Bring in Wade Belak for... Read it a little too well.
Todd Gill. On the Granado, come on. We're not picking up more coaches, Jeff. Daryl Shannon. My boy, my boy, Daryl Shannon. All right, so nothing there. See so if you can get a pick out of him for somebody that wants a defenseman. Oh, I'm sure we can. I'm just looking to see if there's anybody of interest. On the trade block, we could make a package around. Okay, upcoming free agents. Lane Cow would probably be pretty tough to pry out. Try and grab 40-year-old Mark Messier, bring him in. If you want. Uh, Dallas is winning now. I really don't think we're going to be able to get him. But let's just, let's just, just for funny times. Oh, <laughs> we just straight up offered Aaron Ward for Mark Messier. And they're like, yep, done. It's very likely they will accept that offer. Yeah, and Messier's out the last year of his deal, so he's probably going to retire at the end of this. But if you want him, sure. <laughs> okay, Aaron Ward and a fourth round pick for Mark Messier and a third round pick. I came with Shillin, okay. sorry. I just, sorry, too focused in on this. Yes, we're doing this? Sure. Bring it in Mark Messier, 40 year old Mark Messier. Uh, <laughs> Mark Messier must be so bad. Goes from Stanley Cup to contender to this. Oh, hey, Max. Oh, man. Oh, cup. The stars weren't exactly a cup contender this year, so. Acquired okay. Mark Messier plus three, an extremely popular player. Everywhere except one place. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say to that. Flipping back to the Oilers. Oh, man. I can't shop them, right? That would be too good. Too soon? Uh, we could try and flip them if you really want. He's suddenly one of our best forwards. He's going to be playing like first line minutes. Oh, yeah. I mean, your forwards are terrible, so he will be. I'm doing pretty well this season. If he doesn't retire, you could probably, if you get him to pile up a bunch of points now, and he doesn't retire in the off season, you can re-sign him and trade him. Yeah. Okay. Let's upcoming free agents. Let's offer him a contract right now. Yeah, he'll be more likely to uh, not retire if you do that. Yeah. Offer him a two-year sure, deal. Seven hundred fifty-five thousand per year. Yeah. Offer him a two-year deal. Okay, two-year deal at seven seventy-five. That's not bad. Um, I literally don't know what to say. I I guess we're gonna stick. We're not gonna get rid of Podine, Reichel, or Drury right now. We need send Christy down. You got to call up some guys. Yeah, I got to call up. Uh, well, well, Markov's actually higher than Zidlicki. You can call them both up. You need seven defensemen. I just want to build the team as it is. Okay, so we have that. We're going to call up Horkov. Are you keeping Christy up? Why are you worried about what I'm doing with Christy? You're wasting a roster spot on him. Uh, 
All right, so we have actually 21 guys up right now, but Datsu can't play yet. So there we have a full team. Call Markov up to be our seventh defenseman right now. And we'll look for somebody on waivers to fill a spot, I guess. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be about it. So we've actually added some draft capital here. Let's see what the assistant does. Mark Messier is on our first line, as we expected. Horkoff's... Yeah, there's not really much else to say there right now, so... Guess we could shop Ty Domi here really quick to see if anybody wants an enforcer for the playoff run. Nine offers. Igor Ulanov. Kostim Kalimov. Joe Murphy. Vlasic. Kevin Miller. Guess we went way over time already for our usual stream time. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what happens when you get really invested? All right, we're going to just play this game out. Oh, of course, I have to get numbers on people. I wonder what oh, number Messier that? wants. Dixon Ward wants a number, but he's not even on the team, so it doesn't matter. All right. 3 nothing win in our first game. All right. How did... Messier get any points? Messier did not get any points. How did he do in his first game? As I'm lost looking for him. 68 okay. offensive game rating, 84 defensive game rating. Two shots on goal. Three hits. All right. Pretty solid game out of Yeah. Can't Pretty really complain. Mark Messier has signed his extension... Dirk Graham is now the head coach in Washington. All right. Nobody on waivers. I'm saying Barry Melrose, so how did he get in there? Washington's going through coaches. And we win again versus Tampa Bay. <laughs> We're going to end up doing all right at the end of this, aren't we? Oh, man. Well, I see you got a couple of penalties, but still no point. Oh, you got a point. You got an assist on the last goal. Into the empty net. All right. We're going to save right here then. And um, I I really don't know what to say to this. I, this is going significantly better than I thought it would be at this point. We're eight games short of 500. Thank you for everyone who tuned in. Uh, as I just flipped this. All right. So thank you very much. Uh, we tip. Or, thank you for tuning in to another Franchise Hockey Manager we typically stream every Sunday or Sunday night. That's not true at all. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash franchise hockey manager, as well as twitch.tv slash OOTP developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash OOTP developments as well with our stream archives going live Sundays at about 3 a.m. Eastern standard time. So they're nice and live for our European viewers on Sundays. Um, you can reach out to us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash franchise hockey manager on Twitter. We're at franchise hockey for now. And you can find a link in our Twitter bio to our official discord. And of course you can come on down to our official website, which is ootpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right hand corner, which will bring you to our official forums. where You can come talk about franchise hockey manager out of the park, baseball, perfect team, or anything else you wish to discuss. Jeff, did I miss anything? No, I covered pretty much everything. Uh, mentioned a couple of times during the stream, still working on the next update. Uh, got a few things coming, a uh, couple of new uh, custom features that I think people will be happy with. But uh, And uh, I think we added a little bit more for the uh, data export, and we got a whole you know, usual bug fixes and other small changes. All right, excellent. Ooh, 7-1 victory over, and Messi has two goals. The game over Calgary. Roll shorthanded and then even strength back to back nice and you make it into the playoffs it's not impossible but would seem very unlikely now I gotta look uh, NHL 
endings. We're in 12th. We're only seven points out, but that's a long ways to go with only a handful of games left. Four games in hand, though. Yeah. So you could be conceivably within three or three points of where the Canucks are if you had win, got a couple more wins. Seems unlikely, but not impossible. We'll find out next time. All right. So with that, thank you very much, and we will see you all again next week.